Scientists used to believe that lactose intolerance, which is the inability to break down the main sugar in milk, was a diseased state. We now know that it is the de facto normal state of adult humans. As it turns out, it is a minority of human beings, mainly those of European heritage, who can tolerate lactose. They can do that because of evolutionary pressures that allow them to continue producing lactase, which is the enzyme that breaks down lactose, beyond infancy. Most humans, however, have no need for lactase production once they are weaned off of breast milk, since for the longest duration of our existence as a species here on Earth, we simply did not consume any dairy products. Instead, we mainly ate a carnivore diet. To learn more about that, watch this video I filmed on the topic. I will also link it in the description box below. It was only after the agricultural revolution took place around 10,000 to 12,000 years ago that humans domesticated cattle and introduced dairy as a food source. But even back then, dairy consumption may have been rare as DNA testing of Neolithic individuals who lived roughly 4,000 to 5,000 years ago has shown a very low prevalence of the mutation that codes for lactose tolerance. For example, only 5% of Neolithic Swedes were lactose tolerant versus 74% of the modern day Swedish adult who is lactose tolerant. To summarize, it is not natural for humans to consume dairy, especially products that contain lactose, which is the main sugar found in milk. So dairy milk and yogurt are not the health foods that you may have been led to believe. Instead, opt for things like almond milk, cashew milk, coconut milk, and dairy-free creamers. Ideally, you want to use low-carb options or ketogenic options, so I will link some keto dairy-free creamers in the description box below so you can start transitioning out of your dairy habit. I hope you enjoyed this content. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.